Okay guys, so now we're on the back page of the notes where we have these three questions about production, about what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce because we are fancy. So for the traditional economy, what we're producing in a traditional economy is basically like crops, clothing, the basics to survive. So like pottery to store our food, um, tools so that we can like cook food or hunt food. Um, it's basically just the bare minimum, okay? We're not going for like, oh, a sweet iPod or something, or like iPhone. We're not trying to make that in a traditional economy. It's just about what is really needed to survive. Um, so the peop the how to produce is basically like, how are we making this happen? How are we getting the, these um, products out there? So the way that we do this in a traditional economy is basically farmers and families. So we have farmers who are growing the food. We have families who are either raising um, livestock or hunting for food, um, who are tending um, their kids and stuff and making sure that like we get water and all that so that it's very simple um, in the traditional economy so the way that for whom to produce is like who are we making this for are we are we making things so that we can sell it in you know New York City on the market not really we're just making it more for a small village so for our remember it's about your families or your ethnic group so an ethnic group is people who've been like living in the same area for generations okay so traditional economy it's it's like it's pretty um it's pretty basic so then we're moving on to the command economy so what we produce is what the government says, okay? The government needs it, your mother country needs it, so you better get make that happen or else um, things bad things might happen to you. Um, you don't question the mother country, you do it. So how you produce it is by um, the government factory or farm workers. Um, so these people are all employed by the government and they are all told to be there to be working in one position or another um, and so remember like in a command economy it's more it's militaristic and then it's all about keeping that military functioning so we need weapons to keep the military functioning we need like clothes and stuff so that's where the factory workers come in and then we need food for the military so that's where the um, workers come in the farm workers okay we need to feed the military and we also need to feed our dear leaders who we love and who who lead the country in the right direction or so they say so then um, for whom to produce we are going to the way the people that you're making it for is just it's for the government and for country okay you the people in a command economy do not question it they're not supposed to at least um, and it's just it's for the good of the country um, you, they are supposed to just trust that their their leader, their dictator, is leading them in the right direction and doing things for the best, the better of the country. So, um, moving on to a free market economy, what we're producing? Anything, okay? Free market economy, whatever you want. Pills that are supposed to make you like shine like a unicorn that's what you can make that if you can you can claim it go for it yay um but that's it, it's all about anything that you can come up with they're for it so to produce it it's all about again private and individual businesses the government's not involved in this okay so um anybody who dares to go and venture out to try and make some money that's going to be the one that's going to produce it and they will hire people um to get that done if they need to so then for whom to produce anyone anyone who feels like they want to buy the pills that will make them shine like a unicorn okay anybody can buy these things now so there's no government guidelines saying like oh you know you have to be 18 to get the, the unicorn pills or something you keep it's whatever okay free market economy the the private individual decides the private individual knows best okay um, and then in a mixed economy what we produce is anything as long as it's legal so we're not going to have things that are dangerous 
um, to people. Like, um, there are products that, like, okay, so our, um, we used to have these little chocolate things, like candies that were, it was like shaped like a ball and on the inside there'd be like little candies on the inside. Those are no longer legal because American children can't eat that without choking on it. So, you know, you can't have the like little treat filled chocolate ball candy things because I don't know, like you can't sense for something that you might choke on. So that's not legal, but you can produce a little chocolate ball that's hollow inside or the little candy separate so that people don't choke and die on it. Um, but then how we produce it, we have, again, the private um, industry, the private sector where individuals and businesses, they can come up with their ideas and they can make things, anything that they want to as long as it's legal. And then we have the government providing things for the public. Um, so the government will do like um, parks and stuff or schools. They'll do anything that's supposed to be for like the whole country, not just for people who will pay for it. So then for whom we produce is um, for pro public and private use. So for public use, like again, um, schools or transportation systems, we want to make that available to everybody. And private use is for people who are going to come to the store and make the decision to spend their money on um, like candy or to spend their money on and buy a car or whatever that's gonna and it's gonna be their car that's who are producing these things for okay so we are done with economic um, like economic systems and what I'm gonna have you do so that I can tell that you actually understand this is you are gonna go into your Google um, to your drive and you're gonna go into your civics folder because this is civics, you guys. And you are going to find the thing called, that's like um, Billy's business report, okay? And you're gonna click on it and you'll find a paper that has these directions at the top. So you're giving me five to 10 sentences. Stop your whining, you're fine. And then you are going to choose one type of economy, okay? So you can pick like, you can be like, oh, I'm gonna talk about command economy because I think that would be like, like I could get more into talking about that whatever but you're t you're writing in it and then you are picking a business that would be likely to appear in your chosen economy so if you pick traditional economy you're not gonna be like oh I'm a factory worker because they don't have factories in traditional economies okay so explain why it would be likely to appear in that economy so if you're talking about something for like a, you know <laughs> like a farm or something why would that be in a command economy um, and then you're you're describing this business in the first person and so that means like you're talking as if you're experiencing the, this you're using your imagination to write like it's a creative writing assignment you guys um, so you're doing like what are some good parts of your job what are some struggles that your business has to deal with and the last part the most important part that I care about the most is that you tell me your opinion of this I don't care if you don't match up with my opinion of this. Um, I try to keep my stuff not biased, but there are some things I can't hide my bias for or against anyway. So you're going to judge the economy that your business is operating under. So you don't need to judge all four of them. Just judge the one that you're t choosing to talk about and tell me if you like it and tell me why you like it or why you don't like it. Okay. So pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, um, let me know just raise your hand and I'll come and help you out with this but it's pretty simple so have fun I can't wait to read what you do